hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll put an article on how to draft a basic skirt pattern if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel kindly do so now and don't forget to on the notification button like and comment in the comment section below these are the things that will be needed for the purpose of this practical the scissors is needed when you want to cut your pattern or your fabric so the measurement that we'll be using this your measurement can be in centimeter or inches depending on your choice we'll be needing our skirt length we'll be needing the hip line we'll be needing our waist measurements the hip measurement and the that length so let's go into the walk proper yes so in order in order for me not to eat into my pattern my drafted pattern so i'm made i'm using to, i'm moving inward by 2.5 cm by the side and at the top as well i'll be moving downward by 5 cm so i, I made a straight line there and a straight line downward so these are where all my measurement will be starting from so i will our the first thing we'll be doing is the skirt length 41 so We'll measure 41 cm this measurement is a is sorry this measurement is like my own measurement so i'm i'm tall your skirt length can be any length of your choice this 47 cm and you can your measurement can be in inches as i mentioned earlier it depends on whatever measurement scale you are making use of so at that point i measure 41 inches as well just to get a straight line so this is my skirt length my skirt length i measure it from so if you notice i'm not measuring from the tip of the pattern paper i'm measuring from from can you see from there downward yes i'm measuring from there to get to so after that i'll be needing my hip measurement to get my box width box width i'll be making use of my hip measurement so that is the widener because our partner pattern is going to be inside the box so the box width so for, to get the measurement for your box we'll be making use of your hip measurement plus is allowance divided by two so since my hip is 97 97 cm so 97 plus two this two is my is allowance divided by two night which will give me 99 divided by two which is 49 point five so i'll be using that to determine the wideness the width of my box of my box so is within the weeks is between so is, so that is 49 49.5 it is between the box width that i'm going to draft my pattern so you do it based on your own measurement as well and for the ease allowance you can make use of two to three cm depending on your choice so i'll draw a straight line straight line downward yeah 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 yes so we have gotten the box for our pattern for our skirt pattern so i'm writing cf there which means center front cf this center back center back after that my hip line is 20 cm so i've already do that already that is that is it so 20 cm so whatever you measure from your waist to your hip line is what you mark there for me it is 20 cm this varies is not a constant because we have different body shape so that is why it's more advisable. I advise most of my students to measure from on their client for accuracy. So that is my hip line. So which is from the waist to the hip bone of the person. So hip line, hip line. And down there, down here is my skirt length. So your skirt length can be shorter, it can be longer. So from there downward is my skirt length. So the skirt length can be any length 
depending on your choice let's get length so i'll call there my top line that is where all my measurement will be starting from my top line and at the top line is where we'll measure our waist measurement yeah so my waist is 84 cm it's 4 cm so to get the actual waist measurement in which we use on our pattern we will be using our calculated waist so this that was how i got my calculated waist you can see it on the screen so on the top line is where i'm going to mark my calculated waist so my calculated waist is what i'm measuring there so you mark your calculated waist using the calculation on the screen so which is for these can you see so that was what i marked there so for my hip me, uh, hip measurement as well i'll be making use of 97 cm for my hip so this is how i got my hip hip plus is allowance divided by four so 97 plus 2 divided by 4 which will give me 24.75 cm 75 cm so that will be my calculated hip measurement so you don't put the exact measurement you divide your measurement by 4 by the time you want to input it on your pattern so the same measurement that i measured there is what i'll measure at my skate length since it is a straight skate is not having shape so it's whatever shape we are having from the hip line that will take down to the skirt line so if it's also if it's a three-quarter skirt a long skirt a new length skirt whatever length it is you still follow the same principle so we are having the same thing the same measurement then i'll join a straight line for my waist to marked waist my calculated waist to the hip so I'll draw a straight line. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. So after that, we know our waist to hip is not straight. So we are going to have I'm going to we are going to shape it. So whatever you have from your waist to hip, the straight line, you divide it into two and you move, you go outward by one one cm one cm if you are using inches you use the equivalent of one cm there so one cm i move outward by one cm then i'll use my pattern master to give me that shape of my hip and you know the shape is curve sorry the hip is curve so so i'm going to drain it from that one thing to make to have a curvy shape can you see we're having a curvy shape over there so after that we are done with we are almost done not really done we are almost done with our back so don't forget this is the back that we are drafting so at the top line i move upward by one cm because we are trying to get the shape of the 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 shape you know our shape is not really straight the body the the body structure shape then i'm trying to divide whatever i'm having there by two so that will be my dart placement though by two that is my dart placement so whatever i have at on my hip line divided by two then i will join that for my waist to the top line that i raise by one inches so i'm draining it to meet the top line again yes to have a curvy shape there yes so after that i will measure at the midpoint i mark for my for my that i'll measure 1.5 to both sides 1.5 cm so that is the total of 3 cm for my dart so it varies you might you might decide to use 2 cm or 4 cm for your dart 
for the widening of your dart. So my dart leg is 12 cm for my, for back, while for front I'll be using 10 cm. So the dart length is how long I want my dart to be. So from the midpoint that I marked for my dart, so I'll measure downward 12 cm. So the principle here is that your back dart is always two inches longer than your front dart. So if you are using 8 cm or 9 cm for your front dart, that means your back dart will be either 10 to 11 cm. So that is just the trick here. So I'm draining it to have my dart leg. So I'm draining it to have my dart leg. So the back is finished. So this is how our back pattern look like. Now we will draft that of the front. We are moving to the front pattern. So this is our center front. That is where all the measurement for our our front basket block will be starting from. So at the top line, we will still measure the same thing that we measure for our waist, which is 21.25. We we'll measure it the same thing we we'll measure it for the front as well 21.25 on the top line so we we'll measure so that is our waist measurement our calculated waist measurement for the front though so for the front and back is the same thing so for our hip we still use the same thing which is 24.75 cm because we our box was made based on the ease allowance and all that so we are having the same thing for both hip line for front and back so i will join yes i will join my waistline to my hip line so the the hip line is meeting over there So you divide it's just the same way we did for the for the back is what we are doing for the front and we move outward by one cm and use your pattern master to to get your hip shape your hip shape So we are trying to get the shape for our hip because I, I feel like that midpoint is kind of pointed. So that is why I'm trying to have a curve over there. Can we see? So I'm going to extend the the hip shaping upward. So I'll measure one thing just to get the shaping to accommodate the tummy. That is one CM. I'll move downward. So this is one of the difference between the front and back pattern. Aside the one CM, aside the the dart length, this is another difference between it. So I'll divide in my waist into two. For my that leg then i will join to have a curve there so this is what i'm having at the end of the day so after that i will measure my my that leg for the front is the same so guys if you are here to subscribe to my channel kindly do so now also on the notification button to always get new update from us to always get notification when we upload a new video and at the comment box down there kindly comment so that we will surely get better and know what we have to what we have to adjust or get better with so this is just the 1.5 cm the total that with this cm just the way we did for the for the back 
so I'm trying to do my third leg so I'll move upward at the mid midpoint of my that leg I'll move upward by 1 cm so that by the time we want to cut our fabric our pattern can we see one cm by the time we want to cut our pattern the that the it the it will be sufficient for us to fold the dart over there so you draw it outward draw it outward so we are going to do this same thing for the back as well we move upward by one cm one cm draw a straight line from the middle of our dart then train it yes train it like that do, 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 can we see is it not beautiful it is so i'm just trying to label this line this straight line that looks like arrow is just to show that you cut on straight grain and it's very important for you to label your pattern so that if someone else pick it up the person will understand what to do with it even without you seeing so this is straight grain then we'll cut one pieces on fold just one piece on fold for fast for our front and for the back we'll cut two pieces cut two pieces for the back so two pieces for the back so uh, that we label so for for you to be able to recognize a particular pattern when you see it is always advisable to label so initially as when i started my pattern i ought to be labeling when like my hip line like this place i will move one cm so my hip line which is 20 cm 20 cm can you see so it's very important for you to label your pattern the skirt length i will label it the ss is if someone else pick it the person will understand it and personally if you yourself that draft the pattern when you pick it up you'll be able to know that this pattern is for so so person and if you like you can even write the name of the person or the size in which you are drafting you can actually write it on on the on the pattern so if you are yet to subscribe please i'm begging you if you are yet to subscribe kindly do that now on the notification button as well also like this video if you really enjoyed it and share this video as well comment in the comment section for us to get better so this is the what our basic skate pattern looks like can you see so you can do it for different sizes of your choice so this is what it looks like so you cut the back two pieces and it depends on style thank you for watching